Okay, so I almost didn't receive this package before because the postman knocked on my door. Um, I was upstairs, didn't hear him, so he left a note. And uh, when I came down a few minutes later, I saw the note that had been pushed through the letterbox. I thought, shit, I've missed the post. Um, I walked outside hoping that I'd catch him. Saw that the post van was still there, so I just kind of waited outside the door and eventually he came walking along and, uh, and gave me the package. So this is going to be a, uh, what's it called now, a Radio Larian 2 um, from Marty Wolfman. Um, I bought this on eBay. I'll give a link to Marty Wolfman's eBay store and a link to his channel in the description box below. Um, let's open this up. So this is really well packaged by the way, um, not only have you got these packing peanuts but you've got bubble wrap and a big block of polystyrene there. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, the place where I could, the place where I found one of these for the cheapest price was Mighty Wolfman's store. I've got a lot of Twisted Puzzle. I mean, I've got a lot of um, online shops in my favourites menu. You know, which sell tw Twisted Puzzles. So whenever I'm interested in something, I'll do a search on all of the shops and I'll buy it from from the shop which is selling it for the cheapest price. So um, on this occasion, as far as the Radio Lorraine 2 is concerned, um, it was my Wolfman that was selling it for the cheapest price. Also, I got £11 off the price as well, because eBay had this like 20% off coupon offer. I think it was for, pr for pretty much anyone who uses eBay. Um, and it ran from 4pm till 10pm. So uh, I used that coupon and got 20% off the price so that means I saved £11 so all in all I've managed to get this for a really really reasonable price So here it is, got 8 and star there, which I've already got, uh, MF8, Oscar Icosiax or Icosix, I don't know how to pronounce that. So basically the Icosix, um, 8 and star, and this puzzle, the Radio Lorraine 2, they're all icosahedrons. So uh, let's open this up. It's really nice packaging, I think. So I've managed to make a really nice clean cut there. Here are the stickers. Here is the puzzle itself. We've got some more stickers underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
give this the same colour scheme that I gave Aiton Star, which is the uh, the gradient colour scheme. So here is the puzzle itself. And as you can see, lots and lots of MF8 logos on it. You know, whenever I've seen pictures and videos of this, like, you know, when it's unstickered, I can't remember ever seeing this many MF8 logos on it. I know there's not this many MF8 logos on Aiton Star. I don't think there is on the ICO 6 either. But uh, yeah, let's see how this turns. Yeah, supposedly the faces on this puzzle turn okay clockwise, but they don't turn okay anti-clockwise. So let's try clockwise first. That feels absolutely fine. Let's try it anti-clockwise. And already I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it snagging a bit. You can see there. Wanting to pop. So, yeah, it's quite strange how it will move pretty much flawlessly clockwise, but then when you move it anti clockwise, it just uh, it really catches. Very strange. So yeah, strangely, MFA have named this um, have named this puzzle Radio Larian instead of Radio Larian Two. Um, I'm not really sure why that is because this is an actual Radio Larian Two. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see the colours that we've got. So strangely, again, like with Iton Star. Um, some of these stickers are just loose like this and then others are in a bag. So we've got yellow, pastel yellow, dark blue, light blue, dark green, dark orange, uh, light pink, lilac, um, kind of a weird bluey green colour, uh, Aqua, or no, I suppose that's aqua and that's turquoise, uh, a lighter green, burgundy, red, violet, or purple, blue. So those are application sheets which I never use. We've got white, grey. Hot pink, light pink, and orange, and then we've got um, the MF8 logo. And um, is it called Jason Smith? Jason Smith's logo. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, stick at this, and then I'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, the radio Larian 2 is now stickered. I've given it a gradient colour scheme, which is what I gave Aiton Star. So I just basically copied exactly what I did with uh, Aiton Star. Um, there are a couple couple of differences though, um, because with the Radio Larian 2, two or three of the colours are actually different from um, the colours that you get for Aiton Star. Um, let's see. Try and find the same place on this puzzle. Uh, so as you can see, um, both these shades of blue are pretty much the same. Then we go to a lighter blue. These shades are pretty much the same as each other as well. But now this is where things go different. Um, instead of this lime green that you get with eight and star you get like uh, this turquoise colour instead or aqua or something and then 
there's this uh, like a, a petrol blue colour, I guess you'd call it. It's kind of like a greeny blue. Whereas on Alien Star, it's just like a normal green. And then, um, yeah, and then these these two shades of green they're kind of different from these two shades. So, you know, a few of the a few of the colours <coughs> for the radial Larian are different um, from the colours that you get with uh, with Alien Star. But apart from that, you know, um, they're pretty much identical, really, as far as uh, the colours go. Let's see, let's try and find the same place on this one. So as you can see, you know, um, the colours, the shades, they're basically exactly the same. And it's it's like that for, for most of, um, you know, for most... Uh, faces of the puzzles see so yeah, I think it looks really nice with this gradient colour scheme so like uh, like Aiden Star Aiden Star I mean um, the colours just basically snake around the puzzle so I started off with, a, with the light yellow then it goes to a more dark yellow then you've got like a, a bright orange there, then a darker orange, then red, and so on, and it just it just goes all the way around the puzzle like that. And then um you've got like your grey and uh white which are opposite each other. Um yeah the logo stickers I had to uh, I had to cut them down to size to make them fit on the uh, on the um, pieces. So um, I mean, for the most part, I really don't think this puzzle turns that badly anti-clockwise. Um, a lot of the faces. But almost fine um, with turning anti-clockwise. You know, it's like they, they, they won't pop. They won't get completely stuck. Um, they just kind of feel a bit catchy. Now this one is is getting quite stuck. But um, I think for the for the most part, most of the faces um, are pretty much fine with turning anti-clockwise. Uh, I'll uh, I'll show you some shape shifting on this. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to happen. Um, kind of feels like it doesn't want to go. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of bit of jumbling. I think maybe the jumbling on this puzzle is uh, is meant to be quite trivial. Um, but um, when I scramble this for the first time, I am I don't think I'm doing this right. Uh, when I scramble this for the first time, I'm going to scramble it without the jumbling. Let's just have one last look at it before I scramble it. Really nice, bright, vibrant colours. Okay, so uh, let's scramble this.
when I'm, when I'm looking at this and I see like bunches of colours all next to each other, like these yellow ones and like these very light pink ones, it's hard to know exactly where I'm supposed to turn it to split them up. Like turning it there, it doesn't do anything. Um, turning it there doesn't do anything. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I guess that'll do. I'll, I'll just probably leave it there. Um, it could probably do with um, being a bit more scrambled. But uh, yeah, I'll give you a close look at it. Just such a beautiful looking puzzle. Yeah, I actually, I actually really enjoy stickering puzzles, even big ones like this, you know, with lots of stickers. Um, I'm not really sure why it is. Um, I think I kind of find it therapeutic, and it's you know, when you've stickered a, when you've finished stickering a puzzle, it's nice to kind of sit back and just admire what you've done, you know. Um, a lot of people do find stickering to be really tedious, and I can I can totally understand that. I'm not really sure why I don't find it tedious myself, but um, yeah, I guess that is about it. So thanks for watching.